<laughs> I was like, who the heck are you talking to? <laughs> she looked over at me. I've talked to her today, but she was like, <laughs> that was funny. Um, who do we have in the heezy? In the heezy. I, need, I can't mess with that because it's got a little bit of a precarious setup here. So let me pull it up on here. Volume is turned down. Cheapskate. Hey, how's it going? Welcome and Merry Christmas to you as well. Uh, don't ask Bob. Hello. How are you? Um, hey Tess. How are you? I have never had so many people waiting for a live stream. I had seven people at one point. That is amazing. Hello and welcome. Thank you for being here. Hi Lilas. So before we get into the details of the live stream, I just want to make sure that everybody does their own research. Don't take my word as gospel. You are responsible for yourself and you need to do your own research. And that goes with anything you see on my channel. Okay. You can confirm what I'm saying. If I'm incorrect, please let me know. That would be great. I have three 11 people in here. That's amazing. Who do I have in the house? I would love to know. I would love to know if you don't want to share, that's fine. You do not have to, but I would love to know who has a concealed carry, maybe what state you're in, or maybe it's an open carry state. My state of Utah is in fact, Hey Paul, How's it going? So, Paul, you're from England. What kind of gun laws do they have over there? I know Canada. I almost said Canada. Canada, Canada is uh, pretty strict, but there's things that go on in Canada, okay? Things that go on in Canada. CCW in Arizona. Very cool. Lefty, I haven't heard from you in a while. Welcome. Thank you for coming. Yes, please. Please consider subscribing. I, this is a vlog channel for my life, uh, things that I love to do, which is the outdoors, traveling, staying in my vehicle. I've lived in here. I have a pretty nice setup. It is a little bit tight, but, um, I have a, a good setup. So while I'm going to get into it, it's dinner time, my time on my phone, I was worried about this, scheduling this live stream. Sorry, noisy. I was worried about scheduling the live stream because my phone keeps changing from, what's he doing? From, what is it, central time to mountain time. It keeps going back and forth. I'm like, what the heck time is it? I am in the mountain time zone. But you know, your phone, YouTube is just going to take whatever you go off your phone. So I have these. I've never had these. These are good to go meals. And I found them at the exchange on base, which is where I stayed before I got here. Has anybody ever tried these? I have quite a few. I thought about eating one for dinner tonight on live, live stream. If you guys don't mind. I don't have to, but maybe if it's interesting for you to, for me to try one of these, um, I have, I think I got all separate flavors, pad thai, good to go. These are good to go and they're made in Maine. Yes. Is Lois going to be around? Um, this one is Cuban rice bowl. Okay. We've got Thai curry. Classic marinara with pasta. This is too boring. It's just too boring. We're not going to do that one. And then this is mushroom risotto. So I'm not a fan of mushrooms, except for like in a casserole, cream and mushroom soup. And then I do like just straight sauteed cooked mushrooms. My grandma actually turned me on to that. Oh, hey, Bird Overland. Merry Christmas to you as well. Thanks for coming. Um... Yes, Washington. So, Bob, I believe you do have a, a gun. I'm not really hungry, but I don't know. Sometimes people like to watch people eat. Whatever. 
So, is the does Washington have a concealed carry? And what kind of reciprocity? I'm curious to know. You guys share with me with what state you're in. If this is something you even know about, if you don't know, that's fine. But do you guys have reciprocity with other states? How many states? Utah, I've known for a really long time, is a great state to have a concealed carry weapons permit in because you have 37 which, Bob, you are correct, 37 states, other states in the U.S. that you have reciprocity with, meaning you can carry, conceal carry with your, with your permit. And yeah, so with me being, I am a gun, I'm a gun owner and I have a concealed carry permit. I haven't really traveled in this kind of a capacity I haven't traveled with, do they get, right, if they can still carry laws. So in Utah, you can open carry. Yes, as of May 2021, Bird, you can open carry in Utah. But, like, if you're traveling, you know, some states, maybe it's, you want to have that. Um, from what I can remember, I think it's possibly even a, if you're if you have something and you don't even have a concealed carry like it's a felony so yeah lefty bottom line with transporting firearms is know the gun laws in the states you're traveling through absolutely if you have a cow you have what they call reciprocity oh cc i'm sorry it's been a long day okay my I, my contacts are dry that's why i blink a lot if you've ever noticed my blinking and you're like what is her problem it's because i just have very dry eyes so that's not cow that's ccw that allows you to transport through states shotguns are the only firearm we could get a license for and they are subject to strict regulations interesting i i'm surprised to even hear that utah you can get a non-resident permit right and then i heard because utah is a popular place to get a permit and honestly it's surprising to me that utah has the reciprocity with so many other states that they do. I wouldn't expect that from Utah. Um, Virginia used to be, I don't know if they still are, a decent state to get a permit through for the other states that Utah doesn't cover. Not, may, I don't know about all of them, but, um, and then Florida was another option. That may have changed now, but if anybody knows, definitely let me, let me know what the heck is, I don't know what that says. No, I'm not doing anything for Christmas. If you, if nobody else is doing anything, you guys want me to just do a live stream? Yeah, I saw some eggnog at the grocery store. I almost picked up, but I really don't have a lot of room in my fridge. So I, I left it back behind. But, you know, we could do a live stream on Christmas if you wanted. Okay, so like Lefty was saying, there are every state has their own laws absolutely but there is also a federal law that blankets all of the states and federal law trumps states now it's not like specific it's not a, a total reciprocity across the board you're good to go it's nothing like that um but there is federal law that outlines like so i'm from utah and I was shocked because when I was looking ahead to see with my route, because I'm ultimately headed to Texas, that I would be traveling through New Mexico. And so just to be safe, and I'm glad I did because I just automatically thought like Arizona, yeah, New Mexico, Texas, oh yeah, they're good. Well, I was totally wrong and I was surprised to find out that New Mexico does not have reciprocity with Utah. Lefty, Nevada, Colorado has a 15 round maximum clip size. Lefty, absolutely. I'm so glad that you're in the chat. Like anybody else who knows this information, please share. Because there are states, and even Utah, they have, I believe, so they don't have a limit on the, oh, let me, um, let me pull it up really quick. They don't have a limit on the amount of ammunition, but the but states will have limits on the type of gun, like assault rifles, you know. 
you might not be able to have that. Let me go to... So Lefty is really knowledgeable. Lefty, what do you do for work? Do you travel across the U.S.? Is that how you are so knowledgeable? I'm curious. Um, let me see here. Okay. So New Mexico does not have reciprocity. I was shocked, honestly. I just thought maybe that's ignorance on my part, but I thought they would. But I'm glad I checked because I also was going to be staying. I wanted to see about going on to Holloman because... As many of you know, I'm a military member, and I can access military installations and use the showers. So that is super handy to have when I am traveling. And just like the states, military installations have their own requirements and rules for carrying or not carrying a weapon on base. And that's something to be aware of, too. So, I mean, that's probably what really prompted me to figure it out to look because of I wanted to see about Holloman. Holloman is near White Sands National Park and I went there. There's a lot of videos that I have coming up and I've been working on my tiny house review video for my review channel. So yeah there's a lot there's a lot going on. And uh, anyway so I was researching, I went to the good old YouTubes and thought the YouTube will YouTube will know, Google will know. They all they're the same same. Let me pull up Utah really quick here. Um let me see if Lefty answered me. Okay. Donnie T, what's up? Donnie T, we're talking conceal carry weapons permits. I don't know, maybe some of you are into that sort of thing, or aware, familiar. Lefty is very familiar with it. I just drove from Arizona to Texas. I put my unloaded 9 in one secured locked cargo box and empty mags and ammo in another. Okay, very good. So, driving from Arizona, yeah. Right? Absolutely. That was very smart, Lefty. Because you go through... Well, I don't know what state you're from, but, um, yeah, you had to drive through New Mexico, so I'm guessing you're probably not from New Mexico. I, let me pull up Utah fast. Um, like I said, I was going to do, oh, jeez, why do I keep exiting on that? Done. View the state laws. Okay, so, really quick, while I have you guys here, this is a really excellent resource that I found, and I am so glad that I found it, because with a lot of things, there's an app for that, right, you guys? And it can be kind of confusing, even if you go to the state website, like, what, just give me it straight forward in plain English, and this thing that I found does, it's the United States Conceal Carry Association, and they have an app, USCCA, and so if you plug in your home state, so I plugged in Utah, it will provide a map of what states you have reciprocity with, and right there, New Mexico is a big fat no. I'm kind of interested as to why. Am I going to research it? No. Maybe if somebody knows, then that's great. Let's see here. Northbound Gypsy, hey, how's it going, Lefty? I could have carried it loaded because of the CCW. Oh, you're from Arizona. So let me type, let me pull that up. Listen, maybe I shouldn't. You, I'm sure you know the requirements, Lefty, but let me just pull that up. I'm going to plug in Arizona. Okay. Yes, Lefty is... Lefty is a very responsible firearm owner, and so I just plugged in Arizona, and sure enough, he is good, or she, I'm sorry, I don't know, I should never assume, um, with driving through Arizona with it, with his weapon in hand. Oh, army bet. Okay, very cool. Thank you for your service. 
okay. Now, what's great as well in this app, uh, I love it, it's so helpful. So keep this in mind, you guys, if you do travel and you're driving, it's just a very easy, straightforward, plain English resource to have in the palm of your hands. So you can even plug in the state and go to the state laws. So like Bird Overland was saying, um, that they have their, their open carry. What site app? Okay, so Northbound Gypsy is in Florida. Okay, I want to look at Florida. So it is Bob and anybody else who wants it. United States, and it's all abbreviated. It's an acronym. United States Concealed Carry Association. USCCA. It's yellow. Oh my gosh. Such a good thing to have. All right. Then when you click on your state, you can go view the laws in my state and it'll take you to, they have, they update all the, the information on their site. They have a team of employees who are going through all this to make sure it's all up to date. The app was free. They do have a thing in there where you can buy something to get, I don't know, deals off of whatever. So when I go to the Utah laws, so view updates, view updates, oh, as of May 19th, 2021. Okay, I don't wanna do that. I just wanna go to the gun laws. Okay, res states, okay, there's 36 states with um, Utah reciprocity. Part of the responsibility of gun owners is know the law. You're absolutely right, Lefty, absolutely right. Attorneys in, and it says how many attorney, attorneys they have in that state for USCCA. Um, the minimum age, like just super helpful information right there. Uh, a dashboard, if you will, just at a glance knowledge. So it'll have a summary of the gun laws and then down below, here we go gun laws at a glance and this is pretty interesting so i was looking at new mexico's and utah i mean everything there's a lot of green check marks so permitless carry yes it took effect may 5th 2021 for individuals 21 years and older who may lawfully possess a firearm open carry permit yes um let's see here Weapons other than handguns allowed. No, a Utah CFP allows the holder to carry firearms specifically, although other weapons may be legal to carry in this state. Tasers and stun guns, chemical sprayers. So magazine limits for handguns. Does Utah have magazine capacity restrictions for handguns? No, there are no magazine capacity restrictions for handguns in Utah. Ammunition restrictions. Does Utah have ammunition restrictions? No, Utah does not have ammunition. So in the wrong hands, this information could be a little bit concerning, you know, the, if somebody decided to, to use it for whatever they wanted. Hopefully that is not the case. Well, so I took my gun because I do have my gun. I, I it was loaded. I didn't have anything in the chamber at the time, but I unloaded it separated the bolts and I actually have and I'm so glad um, my mom and Melanie went in on a I'm pretty sure it was a birthday gift for me they got me some really super expensive binoculars well I already have a just a basic cheap pair of binoculars that's fine and I've never pulled them out so I took that I took it back to Gabella's and I was able to get this Leatherman I love my Leatherman Surge oh my gosh I love it so much I love and I got a Hornady uh, um, weapons case that is bolted in to my vehicle. So I'm able to put my gun in there and then put my ammunition in another locked case and, and be on my way. So with Holloman Air Force Base, that was basically the same thing. 
Um, so they have people who travel and they specifically cite this on their on their site people who travel in from El Paso to Holloman that is a haul every day and this not that it matters but this it was a, a female and she broke down on the side of the road and so with that in mind and I, there's probably other their member commuting to Holloman to to feel safe if they ever found themselves in a sketchy situation. So when transporting for Holloman Air Force Base, when transporting fire, firearms on and off Holloman, they must remain out of public view and must be secured within a container with Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives approved firearm lock or locked in a vehicle compartment or firearm case. In addition, when not occupied, the vehicle must be locked. I mean, there have been many times where, like, I haven't locked my vehicle on base um, when I was working full-time there. So, very interesting, because sometimes some bases, like Offit, I, I saw Offit is no longer allowing, at least the latest thing I saw, no longer allowing weapons. So, that was a place that I would go and shower, but I have Anytime Fitness, so that's probably a good, good enough. Blue states, Lefty says, blue states have tighter gun laws. Red states are more lenient. Yeah. So, New Mexico is a blue state? Don't ask. There are still federal laws even if the states don't. Yes. So, the federal law, and it's called um, federal... Let me pull it up here. I started talking about it. And then dropped it. Okay. It is BOPA Firearms Firearm Owners Protection Act. It was a uh, passed in nineteen eighty six. And it protects people who are transporting firearms for lawful purposes from local restrictions which, which would prohibit, otherwise prohibit trans, transporting that firearm. So it can be a little bit sketchy because like, all right, well, if you're traveling through a state, some of these Western states are huge and you're not going to get through them. Some people are not going to be able to drive all the way through them. In one day, they might need to stop, take a take a break for whatever reason, and so I guess some people were being prosecuted because of that. But they've kind of um, adjusted it to allow, you know, for an overnight stay, medical reasons, mechanical issues, things like that. So for me, let me go back to this chat here. Who saw my last video of the roller bag in the, that was BLM land, okay? Why is the roller bag like that on BLM land? I'm curious to know what you guys think. And I've decided I'm going to turn the footage over just to the local law enforcement just in case. Northbound Gypsy, 9 mil goes where I go. I don't announce it, but I'd rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it. Yeah, it's definitely best to not announce it, but, like, if you think about it, you could get in an accident, okay? you Maybe you have it near you, within arm's reach, and it's loaded. Maybe a, a round's not chambered, but it's loaded, and you get pulled over for whatever dumb reason or somebody hits you 
and it's there. You are screwed. That is not going to be a good day. So it's just better, even though it can be a hassle, it's just better to follow the, the rules um, in case something like that happens. Is it likely? No. But if, if you are just, you have a weapon in within arm's reach, then you probably will end up getting screwed. Um, lefty says yes. Hmm. So New Mexico must be. Sometimes I've realized I need to, you guys answer my questions and I'm like, what are you talking about? So I have to go back and see what the heck we were talking to. Um, well, the roller bag. Yeah, the roller bag. Who's bringing a roller bag on BLM land like that? And like, why is it just sitting there in the truck? And nothing else. Um, super sketchy stuff happens, okay? And it's it's not just because I watch too much true crime, I'm sure. But people, there's people who are up to no good, all right? They're, they really are. And here I am now. And I feel fine for the most part traveling myself and going wherever I want to go. But there are situations where, as a female, and there's one I where I, one time, it wasn't when I was traveling, but I felt very, very vulnerable. I was, there was just a lot of men, and I mean, there was nowhere to run or scream if that, no, nobody would hear me, and I just thought... If the thought popped into my head, like these guys could totally take advantage of me right now and I would be totally screwed. Probably literally and figuratively. I mean, that didn't happen. But so when I'm traveling and I'm I'm now on some BLM land again in New Mexico, and I'm like, well, so earlier today there was a car, a truck, a, a a brown beater truck with just a guy. He drove up here really, really fast. Drove up there. He uh, he was up up there for a while. I obviously don't know what he was doing. Maybe um, 15 minutes or so later, he just comes barreling back down. And I'm like, you'll see in when I do a video of this area, but how desolate it is. And in a situation like this, it's another thing where I'm very vulnerable and I don't want to have to adjust my life and interest because, because I'm a female and things might happen. The biggest threat to women and men is men. They is men, okay? Not all men, but they are the biggest threat to everybody, men, unfortunately. And if you're not a female, you really can't speak to what it's like to be in a situation like me, traveling alone and just being around. It's just com it's just a totally different world from being a man. And when I'm out in these desolate areas, uh, a guy could pull up on me. I'm not an easy target. I'm a very large woman, but they could overpower me and what could happen? I don't, I don't want to find out. So in a situation like this, what do I do? Uh, I can't carry my weapons within arm's reach. It needs to be locked up, but I'm at this on BLM land. What do I do? Do I still, do I pull out my gun and load it I'm curious to know what I know there's mostly a lot of men northbound gypsy are you a female I'm not sure but I wonder if you what you, what would you do if you're female what would you do in a situation like this Lefty, if you get in a wreck or stopped by police, you must notify the officer first before any other business is conducted. Yes, for sure. 
Paul W., to save confusion, would it not make more sense to have the same laws for all states? For us, it's easy, no guns or knives. Um, yeah, I mean, that would be easy, but every state is so different, and even the cities within the states, the counties and all that, it's so different within each jurisdiction that it's, I don't think it's possible to ever have a, a complete across the board, yep, here, this is fine, to do this. Um, because there's some really sketchy areas, and then there's other areas where I'm sure people sleep with their doors to, to their homes unlocked at night, and they have their, their cars unlocked in their driveway. Whereas other neighborhoods, and I've been there, um, I want to say it was in Alabama, some sketchy areas in Alabama, there are bars over the windows. I mean, there's some bars over the windows in areas of, of Utah. So it you can't really, you couldn't really have an across the board um, law. Alexis sees Lila, yes. She's laying on her heating pad. She went out and about walking for the first time. I've been wanting her to like kind of go out and um, have a little bit of freedom. And she finally did it for the first time tonight and she rolled around in the dirt. Dude, she loves to roll around in dirt. So she's a little bit of a kind of a rosy brown color, but I brushed her all and yeah, dirty girl. Okay. Don't ask. I'm an accident. I was just in. I requested law enforcement because before they even arrived, that was the firearm could be. Okay. Yeah. Right. So Bob was in a vehicle accident and he was coherent enough and had the presence of mind. Good for him to tell the people on scene that he had a weapon so that they could take it. I mean, not only for his own safety, um, but also for so that it didn't get stolen and end up in the wrong hands. So that was really great thinking, Bob. Tess, it's ignoring that he's going up and coming back down. What? Okay. Uh, EB, I, I don't know how to pronounce your name, so I'm gonna call you, can I call you EB? EB, is that okay? I don't know. Um, no capping. What is no capping? Are you just doing it because of the topic of conversation? Don't ask. YouTube just sent me a notif- Oh, okay. Yeah. YouTube notifications. Hopefully people know that we do not have any control over the notifications. And... Yeah. Have you been to Michigan? Uh, Alexis, I don't think that I have been to Michigan. Is that where you're from? Jens, what's up? So in the next couple days, I am going to definitely be heading your way. I know I said that the last stream, but I have been heading your way. Um, I've just been driving through New Mexico and um, there's two national parks here. So I won't give away all the details, but I was at White Sands and had an awesome time. Awesome time. There's been one day so far on this whole entire trip that I just like, I woke up angry. I just woke up like ready to fight. Okay. And I luckily I came up with with a uh, solution to my problems and it ended up just working out just so wonderfully. I had such a great time. So thank goodness. Okay, Alexis. Yes. Yes. Alexis, I don't think is a gun owner. Northbound Gypsy. My son works for Border Patrol and you deal with a lot of illegals up there. I am female. I will say this is my life. Oh, this is my life is threatened. I'm going to protect myself. They can just take me to jail after that. Yeah. Yeah. I saw, man, um, I saw a lot of border patrol when I lived in Arizona and I saw a border patrol just outside of White Sands National Park. I don't know what the heck they were doing, but it was weird. 
No, Jens is not my friend. He's just been around for a minute and he comments on my videos and he's just always so nice and just seems like a just a level even person and did i say he i'm sorry you guys if i use your gender incorrectly uh, i apologize so northbound gypsy you're, yeah absolutely right um and thank you for answering being another female i so for me right now i have, am of the mindset and what was actually helpful too is that app uscca um i was able to go to the gun laws for nevada pronounce nevada not nevada do west coasters bob do washington washington oregon do those guys pronounce nevada nevada or is that just the east coast idiots sorry if you're from the east coast and you do that Nevada. Nevada. I mean, how, does it even look like Nevada? Nevada. I don't know. Whatever. Okay. Arizona. Oh, yeah. View the gun laws in New Mexico. Dude, go there. What the heck? Oh. New Mexico. Um. Oh, yeah, that's why I did it. Because if I'm here by myself, completely vulnerable, I mean, there were, at least last night, I'll have to tell about that story. That was, it was kind of funny. But there were some people within yelling distance from me, but I don't know if they're still there. And then today, so after that other man drove back in his truck and then another man drove up and he's just like up there, probably 500 yards away. Um, with an eyesight of me overlooking me like okay mm so on this this website for USCCA it goes into information about um, you know protecting yourself basically and you better believe like Northbound Gypsy states yeah, I'm going to be able, when I am dispersed camping in a situation like this, I am absolutely going to be able to protect myself because, and I don't know how a lot of women carry, but I carry on body. I would not carry in a purse or anything like that because if you get snatched or someone is able to get you, your person in their vehicle or whatever, then... And you can't, you don't have your purse with you, you're screwed. But what are the chances that they have um, enough mind to to pat you down or, or think that you even have weapons? And they get you where they want you and they are not going to realize that you have a weapon on you and you can defend yourself. So... Alexis, I think that you should start your own YouTube channel, definitely, and do your own live streams. Okay, so Bob, Washington, Oregon, they don't say that. They don't say it in Nevada. So Lefty carries on BLM land all the time. Man, that's probably, yeah. What do you guys think? are potentially worse blm land or national forest we're not going to get into like the state level specific but what do you think could be more potentially sketchy blm or national forest cast your votes yeah and um, northbound gypsy i've been pretty surprised with new mexico actually and how pretty it is so I left White Sands, which is in the Alamogordo. I am sorry, I'm totally butchering that. I left there and then drove down to the, um, I want to say Guadalupe, but that's where I'm going to be headed next. But the um, 
Carlsbad Caverns. And man, it's really prairie desolate out here. Oh my gosh, you guys, the temperature. <gasps> Last night was the first night where it was just so comfortably comfortable to sleep. It was such nice weather. And then today, it was in the 70s. It was like, what? Lila was trying to escape. So I had to rearrange her this top thing here. And now she'll lay on top of here when, if it's too hot. Oh my goodness, yeah. She was feeling a little bit warm. Um, northbound Gypsy says illegals, okay. Paul W, for extra safety, have you considered fitting cameras to your car? Yes, Paul, that is how I got that footage of the roller bag. Um, the initial footage, that is my, was, I have a front facing and a rear facing camera. Boy, man, I want to like have side cameras <laughs> too now. And so yeah, my cameras, they do have great um, night vision and they're the front camera is a 4k has audio and everything and it is running all the time don't ask both i don't man i do not know i don't know what you guys are responding to all the time so my look at how tall i am now in my car i've been sitting on my I, these chairs, I have this one in addition to the blue one that I, I found when I was li living in my car. But I sit in this chair, you know, it's my office, it's my kitchen, it's just my lounge area. And I, when I fell down the stairs last October 2020, I really, not only did I deform my butt cheek, but I really, my, I jacked my tailbone. And when I was a little kid... My dad, I do not know why, but you know those, they look like giant bobbins. Please somebody tell me what the real name of them is. But you would wrap cable around them. I mean, they're the size of a table, right? They're huge wooden things. Anyway, I don't know why, but he had one of those. And we had this huge swing set. And on one end of it, it had a fireman's pole. So I would climb up that all the time just for funsies and then I rolled one time I rolled the stupid table giant uh, bobbin thing over to the fireman's pole and to give myself an extra boost and um, oh oh so don't ask Bob okay so don't ask Bob must be meaning both no no you can only choose one BLM or National Forest National Forest is probably correct People may not know they are on BLM land and typically drive right through. Huh. Really? There's not, I don't, where I've been driving, I don't know what road it is, but there is, it's like straight fence everywhere. This was the first opening of where there was BLM. Uh, lefty, National Forest is still legal. I go shooting on National Forest in Williams, Arizona. There's a lot of BLM that's legal to shoot. Uh, I don't know what the temperature was yesterday because I arrived yesterday night, like last night. Northbound Gypsies, bam. I've shot on National Forest Land for decades. Spool. Oh, a spool. Okay, thank you, Bob. Northbound Gypsies, BLM. Northbound Gypsies vote is for BLM. I honestly would think BLM too. Okay, what was I saying? Yeah, so I, cr I rolled up the spool, like Bob said, and then I just... Being a dumb kid, I just forgot it, that it was there, and I slid down the fireman's pole really, really fast, and boom! Hit it right on my rear, right on my butt. Oh my gosh, I remember the pain. Just getting, running around, like running in a circle, like, oh my gosh, it was the worst. And then, so, that's, it's always kind of hurt. Um, and then I, when I fell down the stairs, and I just... Boom! Felt right, like one butt cheek fell on the edge of the stair and it deformed my butt, my, my butt cheek and it, I, I think it nearly broke my tailbone if it didn't. So it's really painful to sit actually. Very painful. And the padding on this chair is now really, it's done for. So 
before I got to camp, I, I needed to go to Walmart last night, and I went by their ch seat sections, and I got one of these chair pads. Oh my gosh. It's, it's definitely not like my typical office chair, but oh man, it's so much better. It just hurts. Like if I'm sitting in one position for a long time, if I need to move, I can't move fast because the pain, the pain is just horrible. And so I just have to, I have to slowly move. So it just doesn't hit like, oh man, this sucks. Okay, Northbound Gypsy Road trip through New Mexico going to Pogosa Springs, Colorado. And man, I was speechless with the San Juan Mountains. Hmm. I wonder if I've driven by this. I went, I drove through Lincoln National Forest yesterday. That, that was really pretty, very pretty. Um, so yesterday when I plugged in my, my dispersed camping coordinates, um, it was night. I mean, it was like six, six thirty, So I couldn't see anything. And I was driving up this dirt road. The, the dirt road is like really, there's a lot of gravel. It's kind of slick. The tires would slip a lot. So I turned off my traction control. To peel myself out of a chair sometimes too. Oh, it's the worst, Bob. The worst. Um, so there was kind of a steep area. Now I put my car in first gear and I was like, yeah, I think I could do it. And I could I could do it like easily if the if the road wasn't so loose, the gravel on the road wasn't so loose. Well, I passed two other people. One was a truck with a airstream trailer kind of at the clo close to the entrance. And then another was hundred yards up, up it was a Subaru looked like a Subaru vehicle on the side and I was like that's interesting the Subaru didn't just go up so here I am I go past the Subaru and I'm like going up the hill and I'm, I'm slipping I'm slipping and it's looking really sketchy in the in the road of where I'm headed and so I take the the line on the left and then I hit an angle where only one of my tires was touching and and it was my other one was just spinning in the air so I get out and I'm like oh man let me see if I can even make it up this where a better route is a better line to drive and as I'm getting out the the people in the Subaru I they had headlamps on because I they were just in my direction I'm like that's cool okay Pilates working out great for your live streams. Oh, thank you, Bob. Thank you. Appreciate it. I kind of destroyed it a bit because this area here, did I say, talk about this already? I know I did a video of it because I did a whole bunch of things, but anyway, so I don't have all the colors because I, I stuck some needles in it to get it to stay up right here because it kept liking to fall down. Okay, so I'm out of the car and the people with their headlamps on are looking in my direction. So obvious. They're pretty far away. I mean, I could hear them talking a little bit. That's how close they were. And then I, I'm just looking all around with my flashlight. And I'm, I'm standing there and I start to move and I just totally freaking biff it. I biff it and I boom right on my butt. Oh my gosh, right on the ground because this gravel was so slick. So at that point, one of the headlamps is coming towards me. And I'm like, oh, that's, yeah, that's great. So I already knew what my line was gonna be, but I didn't want to get in the car and then this person to like talk to me while I'm in my car. I don't, I don't know. I was like, okay, this is a dude coming to, to talk to me, I'm sure. That was nice, but I didn't need it. Sorry guys, uh, okay, that was sketchy. Um, yes, Tess, for sure, for sure. So I need to get new Crocs, mine are well loved. Um, anyway, so the guy comes up to me. <laughs> He's like, yeah, so are you good? I'm like, yeah, I'm just picking a new line. He's like, oh, okay, so, and he was starting to continue to walk towards my car, and I'm like, and I'm just standing there at the back, 
He's like walking at my car. I don't know what the heck he's think he's doing. Maybe he thought there was a dude in the driver's seat or maybe he thought he was going to get in it. I don't bring it know, but I'm like, I'm just picking a new line. I'm not stuck. And he's like, oh, you're not stuck? Oh, okay. Um, here's a little free tip to keep warm in your car at night. Get a weighted blanket. Yeah, so I am totally warm when I'm sleeping at night. I'm completely warm. I have a zero degree quilt. That's not a problem. My struggle is just when I'm like this, when I'm sitting and hanging out and it's freezing cold. That's what I, that has been my quest to find something that's not a Mr. Buddy heater, not a diesel heater. I don't have the space for those um, to stay warm. My elevation, let me see here. Do I have elevation on here? I do not know where my other... So this guy, right, he's like, oh, okay, yeah, you're, so you're not stuck? I'm like, yeah, no, I'm not stuck. I'm just picking another line. He's like, um, I'm like, yeah, I'm just, you know, trying to cruise up here. Oh, he said to me, he goes, yeah, I just love how, I love how you just went for it. And I was like, yeah, in my front wheel drive car, CX-5, absolutely. And he's just like, yeah, we were, we kind of got to a point where you are and then just decided to just turn around and, and stay where we, where we are now. So I'm like, yeah, okay. He's like, you want me to spot you? I'm like, no, I'm good. I already have the line picked out. He's like, are you sure you don't want me to spot you? It's like, no. Okay. You don't know. I just went to an overland camp. I'm pretty much a professional. I can do this myself. <laughs> um, I mean, guys, if you come across a female, listen, don't assume you have no idea what her freaking background is. All right. And I probably have more dirt driving time under my belt than he did. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to say it. I bet I do. So... No, I don't need a spotter. I already spotted myself. I know the route. I, I should probably pull the footage now. I wasn't filming at the time I should have, but I was like, yeah, I'm good. I'm not going to, I'll be fine. I'm not going to push my car any more than I have already. Well, that was a total lie. That was a total lie. Because I got in my car and I took the other line and I was just, I was so irritated because I'm like, my car can make it up this. This is stupid. It's just because this gravel is so slick, all right? That's what my problem is. So I was flipping big rocks. I could hear those rocks just hitting under my car like nothing. Is this going to open? I'm trying to pull up my elevation up. Okay. Um, and my, my tires were slipping in some areas, but I made it up there, okay? And I was like, um, hopefully I didn't push my car too hard. And today, I, you know, I, all my tires are still inflated and I don't see anything leaking on the ground. Nothing. So, I'm good. And I thought to myself, you know what? If I'm going to get a new car um, in fall of 2022, I'm going to get use out of my tires that I invested in. Okay, these tires were pricey and they're like... 65 to 85,000 mile range on them, so I might as well use them like they're intended to be used. So, yeah, okay, what is going on here? Okay, it's trying to pull up northbound gypsy. <sighs> okay, what else here? Oh, boxable boxable you guys anybody curious we only have 11 people we lost some people they're over i think i think as far as the firearm things go um i've hit everything and i was curious to know what a lot of you guys thought lefty thank you so much for all your input and northbound gypsy as another woman i'm very glad to hear from you and what what information you provided. Um, I just wanted to definitely share the, that tip about that extremely useful app I found. Dude, this is, uh, this is not pulling up my, my location. 
if I go, if I move on my, I don't know if this will, I don't know if, if I, if I go to a different screen on my phone, is it going to cancel? Oh, see, it went reconnecting. No, we can't do that. If you keep tires properly inflated for what you are doing with them, then they, yeah, so that, you're right, Bob. And, and so I didn't deflate them on this. I, that would have helped. But like, you know, it was just a little far, it's not that far off the road. I didn't really feel like deflating my tires. What the heck? Okay. Boxable. You know what? This, this live stream, how long is this? 55 minutes. This is a pretty long live stream. I think once I, I haven't visited Boxable yet. I called them actually before that weekend hit and talked to them. I'm glad I'm glad I did because once I found out they weren't doing any, um, they really weren't going to be there for tours. Christmas. I was like, oh yeah, it is going to be Christmas. Then I, I head, I headed straight to New Mexico. Um, so I'll probably, once I have more information there, once I visit them, I'll just do a quick separate video about it. But, you guys, um, I looked at the land. I did mention it in my live stream on my Roar channel. Uh, and it's totally different from, like, tiny house land. Yeah. It's a minimum... 1600 square foot land for a home um it's absolutely beautiful it's like 20 minutes from zion national park an hour i think from bryce excellent location and you can rent the the cabin out for the entire year as a vacation rental and so I've talked to two realtors that, um, for two pr different properties and one of them was super helpful and informative and told me about a property. He's, a, he's actually on the HOA board. So I was talking to him all about the box bowl and everything, using it as an accessory dwelling unit, yada, yada. People are clicking out cause I'm talking about the box bowl now, but anyway, um, yeah, so he was telling me about, so he's on the HOA board, and then he also helps manage some of the vacation rentals up there. And one of the properties has um, a cabin, and then it also has a, like a studio over a garage for people to stay in. And they rent that out separately. Oh my gosh. And what, what they pull in a year, he said, oh my gosh. Uh, well, aside from the video that you sent me, Bob, I haven't looked any more into it. I don't think I'm going to even mess with it because I just don't love the idea of how it might, um, like that interest rate. It's good right now, but how long is it going to stay there? And Bob, you, you might want to look at investing in Boxable. I'm serious. So I talked to them on the phone and I will tell you right now, one thing is that they are, they have a big contract with the government. Yes. So they're working right now on disaster relief boxables. That is the priority because of this government contract. Bob, I'm telling you, you might want to look at that investing there. Anyway, um, so so next week for sure, well this week probably, no is it Thursday? It's Thursday, oh my goodness, yeah next week I will be in Texas, absolutely. The next national park is only like 30 minutes from here in Texas. It's I'm in New Mexico right now, it's in Texas. FEMA, no Bob, no, Bob, it's the Boxable. The box of bulls, dude, that are like nearly windproof, earthquake proof, bulletproof, fireproof. They're not any of those things, but very resistant. And they're the unfolding ones. No, they're providing those for disaster relief. They're not FEMA trailers. 
They don't have any of that off-gassing nonsense. Boxable, no e.com, Bob. Go check it out. I'm telling you, go check it out. Um, okay, so I think that Miss Lila Lou and I will wrap it up. I'm going to see if she wants to go run around a little bit more again this evening. Thank you guys so much for being here and for participating. Bob and Northbound Gypsy and um, Lefty, my main peeps on the, the gun stuff. That was great. Rachel Proof. Um, I'm good on my stuff, I think. I am. I would say. I think I'm good on my stuff. Uh, I... My car... My car... My car's pretty toe up though right now with some things like back here where the the extruded aluminum I've just given up on it hitting the side of the car so that's all chewed up that's totally chewed up yeah everything that is on this car or in this car it's all worth way more than the car itself for sure anyway uh, everybody, thank you so much for joining me on this live stream. I think my next video is going to be the, the cabin land. So let me know, you guys. It's, it's such beautiful property. When you watch it, I am really curious to hear what you guys think. I'm still going to get a boxable for sure, but dude, this other situation is really really appealing I mean not only like could it be a wonderful place for me to live eventually but the vacation potential oh man it's so good and yes it is an HOA okay all right guys I think that is all thank you for anybody who watches the replay if you guys watch the replay give me two thumbs up Two thumbs up in the comments. Okay, guys. What's up? You guys like my nails? My Christmas nails? Will it focus if I do that YouTube thing like people do? You know? So cute. Okay. I do my own nails in my car. Yeah, I have my nail stuff. Like, very unnecessary. The most unnecessary thing I have brought with me. Yep, absolutely. My nail stuff. Oh, so it's on the live stream about the cabin, but it's a video. So check that out. Check out those houses, those cabins. And yeah, I got to read some CCNRs. Thank you, Bob. My niece used to do this all the time. Thank you, Tess. Okay, guys. Well, I'm, I'm not sure about a, a Christmas live stream, but we'll see. I don't know where I'll be. I, sh I, I need to be in Texas by then. Oh, well, thank you, Paul. So glad that you're still here. Some, I don't know who's still around, but that's so cool. Thank you for still being here. I appreciate it. Um, and Paul, uh, about the the cat trackers. Yes, when I, when I buy things, like super expensive things especially, um, so the whistle that I have for Lila, it was like, I don't know, 200 something bucks with the membership like the monitoring stupid expensive I really researched and so there are cat trackers but they're either big or they have just a lame not a GPS tracker or you know so that's why I landed on the whistle if there was something that was like the whistle but small smaller for a cat then cool I would be all over that. All over that. Okay. Yep. Merry Christmas, everybody, if that's what you do. Yep. Stay safe, Rachel. I'll see you later. Thank you, Northbound Gypsy. I appreciate you being here. And 3 a.m., you sound like a Jim West. Jim West, who doesn't come around anymore, really, because I've failed to resend him another package so far. In 2022, most likely it will Anyway, guys, uh, yes, we'll see you in my next live stream, definitely in two weeks. And uh, 
hope you guys have a great weekend and Christmas. We'll see you guys soon. Sayonara. Bye-bye. Bye, Lilas. Bye, Lilas. She says bye. 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 So cute.